there, grade 10s. Did you know that we are surrounded by chemical bonds? Without chemical bonds, which hold atoms together in molecules and crystals, there would only be gaseous atoms. There would be no liquids and solids, no life forms. It is for this reason chemical bonding is the single most important concept in all of chemistry. In this lesson, we will focus on covalent chemical bonds. A covalent bond is the attractive electrostatic force that two atoms exert on each other when they share electrons. Let's start by imagining that there are two hydrogen atoms moving closer together. There are three forces that act on the atoms at the same time. The first force is the repulsive force between the electrons of the atoms, since like charges repel. The second force is attractive force between the nucleus of one atom and the electrons of another. The third force is the repulsive force between the two positively charged nuclei. These three forces work together when two atoms come close together. When the two atoms come together to form a hydrogen molecule, the shared electrons move in the orbitals around both atoms. In this way, the outer energy levels of both the bonding atoms are filled. In the hydrogen molecule, the electrons attract both protons instead of the one proton it started with. The arrangement is more stable than two individual hydrogen atoms, so the atoms are held together. One of the ways we show bonding is to use Lewis dot diagrams. An even simpler way of showing covalent bonding is by using Cooper structure, where a straight line is drawn wherever a pair of electrons is shared. The simplest type of covalent bond forms between two atoms of the same element. This type of molecule is called a diatomic molecule. The seven diatomic elements are hydrogen, H2, nitrogen, N2, oxygen, O2, fluorine, F2, chlorine, Cl2, bromine, Br2, and iodine, I2. The first example we will look at is the diatomic molecule of chlorine gas. The energy level diagram shows the seven valence electrons which are found in the outermost level. So chlorine needs one electron to complete the outermost energy level and reach stability. When two atoms of chlorine, outermost energy levels overlap, we can see two electrons are shared between the atoms, allowing them to fill the outermost energy level. A single pair of electrons is shared between the nuclei and this is called a single covalent bond. The Lewis diagrams for the formation of this single covalent bond between the two chlorine atoms. The Cooper structure for this single covalent bond between the two covalent bonds. A single covalent bond can form between different types of non-metal elements. The example we look at now is hydrogen fluoride. Here is the energy level diagram for hydrogen and the energy level diagram for fluorine. We can see hydrogen has one valence electron and fluorine has seven valence electrons. Each needs one electron to complete their outer energy level. The oxygen molecules present in the air that we breathe are made up of two oxygen atoms each. Each oxygen atom has six valence electrons. We can draw the energy level diagram for oxygen. As the oxygen atoms get close to each other, each nucleus attracts the outer electrons. In this molecule, there are two pairs of shared electrons in order to fill both outer energy levels with eight electrons. For the Lewis dot diagram, six dots are placed around the element symbol, one at a time, on the main compass points and then grouped in pairs until there are six. The Lewis dot diagram for an oxygen molecule has two pairs of electrons shared and so this forms a double bond. Note that there are eight electrons around each atom. Covalent bonds don't have to be made between the atoms of the same element. The water molecule is an example of a covalently bonded molecule formed when different atoms bond. When an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms move close enough together, the electrons from each atom are attracted by the protons in the other atom's nucleus. 
The Lewis dot structure for an oxygen atom shows the two unpaired electrons, and each hydrogen atom has one unpaired electron. This attraction pulls the atoms together. The electrons are then shared by the atoms in a region between the nuclei of both atoms. Two single covalent bonds form. The molecule of bonded oxygen and hydrogen atoms is more stable than the individual separated atoms. Look at the energy level diagram of a carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. As they move closer, the electrons from each atom are attracted by the protons in the other atom's nucleus. The Lewis dot diagrams show that carbon has four unpaired electrons and each oxygen atom has two unpaired electrons. This attraction pulls the atoms together. The electrons end up being shared by the atoms in a region between the nuclei of both atoms. Here is the Lewis diagram for carbon dioxide showing it has two double covalent bonds. The molecule of two oxygen atoms and a carbon atom is more stable than the individual separated atoms. The Lewis diagram shows the two double covalent bonds. In the air we breathe is an example of a triple covalent bond, the diatomic gas nitrogen. The Lewis diagram for an atom of nitrogen clearly shows one lone pair of electrons and three unbonded electrons. When two nitrogen atoms move close enough together, the electrons from each atom are attracted by the protons in the other atom's nucleus. This attraction pulls the atoms together. All the unpaired electrons are shared by both the atoms in a region between the nuclei of both atoms. Again, the molecule of the two nitrogen atoms is more stable than the individual separated atoms. This is the reason a triple covalent bond is formed. Here, each pair of electrons is shown as a line in a Cooper diagram. Can you think of two conditions atoms must have in order to form covalent bonds with one another? There is a strong enough attraction between atoms and there is room for electrons in the outer energy level of both atoms. This brings us to the end of our lesson, Grade 10s. You'll also find more information about bonding at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.